Welcome back to Let's Play Rise and Fall Civilizations at War with me, a Dragoclaw. So, last time we were killing the Persians and we succeeded. Now we are just bombing the hell out of the Romans. And taking advantage of the bad AI by letting them throw themselves against my wall. However, it is a lot quicker if we can send in our troops, which I do plan to do, with an elephant leading the charge. Uh, once I've accounted for all my soldiers. Kill those guys, otherwise, we're going to escape. They're going to trap us within our own trap. Trust the Romans to do that. And not intentionally either. Well, Bowman, be change of plans. To the front. Fire as soon as you get a target. Whisper, my microphone is playing up. I'm gonna have to boost it in editing, which I really don't want to do because it makes videos take three times as long to upload. And I'm already very good at uploading, aren't I? Yeah, I know, it's just I don't get much time for recording. Once I have a video, I do try and upload it as soon as I can. Oh, I am having trouble with Star Trek Online Part 6. It's either corrupted or YouTube really doesn't like it. Right, now can I fleet my one? No. Can I delete this one? delete rather than destroy. Maybe there's a difference, I don't know. But what I do know is charge! Send everyone through that gap. Elephants and all. Elephant attack on Germanicus Caesar. He is now your main target. Don't think he's gonna do much damage. Oh dear. 
You bad elephant. Don't know if that'll make a difference. I think he's gonna drop. Yeah, there goes the elephant. You will pay for that, Germanicus Caesar. You Romans are all alike. Charge! Ooh, I glow. Oh, her Rome concedes victory to you. Do you want to end the game now? Oh yes, I suppose we better. I am victorious. Well, that was Let's Play Rise and Fall Civilizations at War. Uh, I suppose we quit this mission. And we get to view the mission statistics, which you get to view after every time you quit the game, but I decided not to show you after every episode, mainly because I had sto stopped recording and completely forgot. Um, but it does reveal some interesting stuff, so let's take get to the graphs later. First of all, let's go to the summary. See, the stars mean that you're the best in the class at each of these stuff, so I had the best military, uh, Persia had the best economy, Rome had the best hero level, apparently, uh, so I had the best society, and uh, unfortunately for Greece I had the best nothing because they died pretty easily. Uh, let's go down to the military, shall we? Uh, Rome killed the most units. Greece killed Hector, lost the least, which is understandable because they, the, they had less to lose. So they would kill so quickly. Anyway, uh, I raised the most buildings and I lost the fewest. And I had the biggest army by the time I press quit. We'll come back to the grass later. Hero level. This is like a breakdown of when you first got to your hero levels. Greece never made it to level 4. It seems I got off to a slow start, but then I got to level 3 and 4 quickest. And I think the same for the rest of you. Oh, I've beaten level 6 and 7. And 8, and 9, and 10. By Persia. I mean Rome, sorry. Ah. And society. I had 23 citizens. I Ten lots build many, and I had the greatest research. Rome had the greatest citizens. Economy, most recruitment points, which is how many soldiers come out of your barracks per click. It's based off the number of outposts you control. Uh, Persia had the best wood, and the most resources in total, and they spent the most. Uh, Rome had the best gold, the best glory, and Greece again didn't have the best anything. <laughs> then we come to miscellaneous, which is completely pointless. Because it says like hotkeys pressed 48, mouse click 2526, player speed 425. I'm pretty sure I clicked on my mouse a lot more than 2526 times. I don't know why, it just feels like I've pressed it more. And I'm pretty sure I pressed more than 48 hotkeys. Maybe it means different ones. Oh, I don't know. Uh, player speed. No idea what that is. And of course, I think we started the map fully explored, so I didn't have any. No one has any exploration. And that was purely because I really hate the exploring in this game. It's really micromanaging. Micromanaging nightmare, rather. Okay, and now the graphs. So we have a total population over time. You can see my uh, the light blue, which could be probably hard to see on YouTube. I finished about there in total population. Next graph. Next graph. Oh, okay, here we go. Army size over time. About the same. Citizen count. And that's funny. <laughs> Just to see them. Boom! I murdered them all. So, into population of time, we're back to the ori original graph. So, yeah, that was uh, Rise and Fall Civilizations at War. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. It was just a pain to record because of all its technical issues and everything. Uh, but thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next Let's Play.